so what is the role of power query here it is used for performing the etl operations used for performing etl activities what is meant by etl what is meant by etl most of you might know this slide like. transfer load yes correct extract transform transform and then load so this is the meaning of etl but what is it actually let us try to understand so when i say extract meaning you are going to bring the data from where first of all if you want to perform any kind of cleaning activities or visualizations what you need data you need who is going to give us the data the clients will store their data in different places so just have a look at this particular architecture diagram here so first of all focus on this one i have some architecture diagram for the entire power bi that i'm going to explain to you people now so i told you data would be there in multiple places it can be through excel files it can be stored in the sql server it can be stored in the oracle it can be there in the azure in the aws or the company's own servers or somewhere snowflake informatica or else json files or parquet files okay it can be in the google sheets or wherever your data might be company can store their data whatever the place they want am i right so whenever you wherever you have the data you need to first of all bring the data into power bi that is the first job you need to do that is what here e stands for in the power query you are going to perform etl activities in that etl what is the first thing you need first of all to bring the data wherever your data might be you need to first of all bring the data into the power bi into the power bi desktop so when you bring this data next thing is what whatever the data i brought that data i am going to do the transformations or data cleaning data cleaning or data transformations i am going to perform so that transformations once you perform you will get some resultant data am i right suppose you have loaded some 100 rows of data after loading 100 rows of data you have performed some data cleaning and all and you have reduced it to some 80 rows like that and that 80 rows you are going to now load it or store it in some place after performing data cleaning you first of all brought the data you performed the data transformations after performing the data transformations you are going to store that transformed or cleaned data in a separate place so for that i need to load it the third letter in the etl l stands for load load it and store it in one place where you are going to load see the, our diagram here the first module here is about the power query power query is responsible for performing the etl activities in the e first of all you are going to bring the data from different kind of source okay what are might be the source you are going to bring that particular source first and you are going to transform that particular data and load that data where you are going to load into the power pivot okay into the power pivot power pivot here is just like your uh, database in your power bi desktop the place where you can able to store the data okay 